Okay, we have a fun unboxing today. One I'm actually looking forward to. This is the PT-17 by E-Flight. The specific version is the bind and fly version. Kind of curious, uh, what's inside the box? How hard it's gonna be to put it together? Uh, first biplane I've ever owned. So let's get into this box and see what's going on. All right, so here we have it. Uh, again, the E-Flight P17, bind and fly version. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this box. Uh, now, bind and fly version is interesting. This specific model actually comes with a with a uh, AS3X receiver, um, so a little bit of uh, of stability control, little gyro action there in the sky. Go ahead and slide this open. And I'm glad to see there's no damage right away. The box has a uh, decent ding in it, which is funny because the packing box didn't have that damage. Uh, glad to see there's no obvious damage on this uh, styrofoam. Wow. Well, this is kind of fun. Let's have a, have a glance at what I'm seeing here. Looks like a pretty complete plane. Uh, pretty surprising, but well, it's not really surprising. Uh, pretty exciting. E-Flight makes such great stuff, you know. Uh, my first couple planes were E-Flight planes, and uh, much to, or because of the advice of, of my friends. And you know, the truth is, they're just well-built, well-designed, well-put-together, well-packaged. Everything they do is deliberate, and it ends up being pretty nice. All right, first things first. Looks like we've got a small carbon spar. Now, we're not sponsored by E-Flight. Heck, we're not sponsored by anyone, so we can say whatever we want. But uh, I really do like the E-Flight planes. The other reason I like the E-Flight planes is they really include substantial manuals. A lot of detail in here, a lot of configuration stuff. This is, this is gold, especially for a new pilot. So yeah, let's see what else we've got. Now, I've, I've broken my personal rule with the razor, leaving the blade extended like that. I love these self-closing uh, razors. Um, okay, first things first, we'll pull out a wing. Wow, that is a beautiful wing. Yeah, that's great. Kind of looks like the top wing to me. Let's see if I'm right. Pull this one out. And oh, we've got a little notch here. Got our servo connections. So yeah, that's part of the bottom wing. Beautiful wing though. Again, it's the small things, it's the details. It's uh, taking and, and putting the servo masking tape over and hiding the, 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 the wires and the, the servos themselves. E-Flight just takes that little bit of extra effort and their planes really are better because of it. All right, next up, we've got a propeller. Go ahead and pop this out. Now, this is a 11 by seven. I had to heck with it today. Wow, and that is a very, very rugged uh, prop. It feels like uh, the uh, fiber impregnated nylon. Very, very sturdy prop. Uh, next up, we've got, oh, our landing gear. Uh, some wheels, pants. Um, oh, I didn't realize that. It actually has little shocks built in. And my gosh, they're gorgeous. That is a great little detail. That'll help this plane last longer too, especially with the, uh, you know, harder landings. Looks like we've got some supports for our wings. And I love how they uh, label things left and right. That's great. Uh, next up, what have we got here? It looks like part of our tail. And there's the other half. Carbon spar goes in between them. Sections locked together. Not bad. Now, one thing that I have become pretty obsessive in checking for are the hinge types. We'll get into that a little bit later as we do our build. All right, now for the fun part. Let's pull that fuselage out. Wow, that is a gorgeous plane. I'm pretty surprised. Uh, <laughs> 
Wow, that is a beautiful radial engine. Uh, that's probably one of the most detailed uh, pieces I've seen on a, on a radial or an engine cowl or anything like that. Pretty awesome. Looks like we got an air intake too. Golly, no damage, just a beautiful plane. Wow, okay, well that's exciting. Let's see, is there anything else hiding in here? Just a razor blade. And that's it. So this is gonna go together awful easy. Oh, ah, there's one little pocket hidden there. Glad I, uh, glad I was actually looking. Looks like we've got some more wing supports. Uh, some sort of control rods. Again, labeled left and right. Ah, and our screws. Looks like we've got a very small baggie of screws. So, yeah, now, now we've got it all. It's time to, to jump into the time lapse. Let's put this thing together and, and see what it looks like. I'm really excited about this. Okay, there we have it. The E-Flight PT-17. Uh, this thing has a Power 15 motor with a 40 amp ESC. We're running a 3-cell 2200 in here. Let's go ahead and do a thrust check. Let's see how this thing runs. Get a good grip on it. That's a surprising amount of thrust for actually what feels like a small plane. Woo. Well, that'll be exciting out of the field. 
So uh, there are some interesting things with this plane. You know, E-Flight is always an innovator and they're always coming up with something new. And I found some oddities on this plane that just kind of partially inspired me, partially confused me. Um, so let's just kind of talk about some of those. So first is, and it's always the thing I go and look for whenever we do a flight or a new plane, should I say, is we take and see what kind of hinges we have. And having taken a good look at all the, the hinges here for our control surfaces, what we found is they're all live foam hinges. Uh, on other E-Flight planes we've had, uh, we've had embedded um, hinges inside of that. This plane doesn't have it. However, the foam is so rugged and so robust, it doesn't really scare me. So normally that would be a knock against the plane, and in this case it's just kind of neutral. Um, the assembly went very, very well, except for uh, two parts. Um, the first is, I didn't know what the orientation of left and right was. So I ended up installing these uh, wing braces backwards. Once I got that sorted out, that wasn't a big problem. And the other thing that I ran into is, they have a very unusual pin system for holding this upper wing in place. There's actually four long pins. I thought they were control rods. Uh, turns out they run through the wing and connect the wing to the, the upright, the little supports. Interesting design. Uh, it can make it very easily to take and pull the wing off. Um, you know, if you're transporting the plane, you want to break it down, or if you have a repair and you need to just replace one of these. Um, you know, basically a toolless way of wing removal. Um, as far as that goes, is the bottom of the wing was held on in an interesting way as well, in that we have these little swivel clevises. Um, we'll have to see how those hold up. Plastic peg running through the wing with a pin that is holding that in place so that the wing doesn't fall off. Um, other than that, really straightforward. Quite literally, all I needed was a Phillips screwdriver to assemble this plane. Uh, that was it, that was the only tool I needed. So there we have it. Uh, kind of excited to get this thing out and, and give it a whirl, uh, see how it flies. You can, you can see and hear the, the AS3X responding as I pick the plane up and move it around. There is one other oddity that actually I had to cover here. So when looking at the control surfaces, um, as I'm moving them back and forth, I'm noticing on the elevator there's not a lot of deflection. And the reason for that is that control rod connected to it is bowing and flexing all over the place. Um, so we'll have to see how that affects the flight characteristics of this plane. Um, I got a feeling that we're going to have to do just a hint of tuning with that to get it to fly like we want it to. Other than that though, beautiful plane, um, AS3X receiver built in, I mean not bad. Price if I remember right is around $230, so it's not a cheap plane. Um, but if you're looking for a sporty little biplane with uh, some sort of stabilization built into it, in a quality plane, cheap parts to replace, and a very high quality build. You can't go wrong with E-Flight. So there we have it, PT-17 by E-Flight. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this and uh, keep flying.